Let us see how to download and install the latest version of Android Studio on your Windows operating system. Let's start by opening the browser and search for Android Studio. Click on this link. As you can see, these are the features of an Android Studio. Now let us click on Download Android Studio. Immediately a pop-up will appear with the basic terms and conditions. Agree on the conditions and click on Download. Once the download part is 100% completed, we will need to install and set up the Android Studio. To install, click on the downloaded .exe file. Keep the settings as default and click on Next. You can also change the destination of the file. We have kept the default location. Now hit on Install and wait until the installation is complete. After the completion of installation, click on Finish to open the Android Studio. You can either click on Send or Don't Send. I am clicking on Don't Send. Here, it's asking us to download the SDK, then click on Next. By default, Android's latest API is downloaded. For instance, it's 33 here. Also, you can change the path of the SDK. Since SDK takes up a lot of space, if you wish, you can install all the API version and other tools. While some people prefer not saving on C, I will keep the default path. Then click on Next. Accept all the licenses pertaining to SDK. Hit Finish. You can click on Show Details to see the process. SDK installation is done. Let's click on Finish. Your Android Studio is ready. I will show you how to install more API versions. You can see all the API version here under SDK Platforms. You can check on the API version and hit on Apply. In our case, we will install API 30. It will take some time to download. If you want, you can carry on with other developments in the background. As you can see, API 30 is installed. Hit on Finish. To create a new project, click on New Project. Choose templates for the device you are developing. In our case, we are developing for an Android phone. Let's choose phone and tablet and choose basic activity. I'm giving the name of the project as first project and changing the package name to com.nevon.firstproject. I will keep the project path as it is and the development language as Java and set the minimum SDK as 21. You can keep a lower version or higher version depending on your requirement. Click on Finish. Since this is the first time we are creating a project, Android Studio is downloading and installing all the necessary tools required for the project. This will not happen every time you create a project. Click on Finish. Like I told you before, since this is the first time, Android Studio will make sure everything is installed. It will download the latest Gradle plugin required, SDK tools and will build the project for you. This process will be longer if this is your first project or environment is missing as per the studio. Project is built successfully. Since we choose a basic template, let's check if it has been added. Check the manifest, then the Java files and lastly the layout files. As you can see, the template has been added. Since we do not have a virtual device, that is an emulator installed to run the app, let's create one. Under category phone, let's choose Pixel 6 and click on next. Since I have already installed Android 11, that is API 30 for emulator, I don't have to do it again. You can download and install others as well. Click on next. I am not changing the AVD name. You can if you want to. Then click on finish. So the virtual device is added. You can either click on this play or run icon to run the emulator or choose from the devices above and run the project. Emulator tab will be open and the app will be installed in the emulator after successful project build. Depending on your system configuration, emulator will boot up and app installation will be done quickly or slowly. As you can see, the app has been launched. To stop the run, you can click on stop icon. Now let's close the project. Click on file menu and click close project. You can see the project on recent project list. You can either click on it to start the project or click on open and choose your project from the location and click OK. Your project will be reopened. If you found our videos helpful, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss our videos.